See if you can put terminology to things now. I'm hearing people sort of, that guy and he's a this or that person. So you're, I'm just going again, as you're looking at you're talking, one of the um, groups there were saying, this guy's got a stick. Right? Now, I reckon you know which one they're talking about with a stick. My point to them is when we did a similar source like this about a week ago, we actually gave it a name. So since you're talking to your friends, well, what the heck is it? What does it represent? Okay? Keep talking a little bit long, and then we're going to start picking it apart. <laughs> Continue to write on it. One of the things I write on the side there is you look at the image, think about what's important versus what's unimportant. Are there bits in it that probably don't matter? Are there bits in it that really matter? Okay, so just think about it. Okay, I've written important versus unimportant. Relatively unimportant, mate. Maybe everything's important. You put it in. This. Ah, just put them all in. Alright. The next bit gets kind of interesting because I kind of want to drag it around a bit and uh, at the same time we need to scroll up. So let's see how we go. Now, let's not name things at the outset. I'm going to put you, there's maybe five things that are really, 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 really important. There's about five object shapes, characters, things. Are we okay? Now, if we get those five things, we're going to get the heart of the message. So when you're in an exam, you get sources in history like this. There are elements that are less important to the overall. They might enhance it, but they're less important. So let's just identify what are the things that we should be spotting. Don't name them with words. What's one, Laura? What's one? What should I put a little like an asterisk on or a tick on or something? The orb thingy. The orb thingy in the middle, this big round shape. So that is something we need to recognise. What else, Evie? Um, the three people contacting the orb. Clearly, these three people really matter. Okay, and I said there's about five things to get. What's the fifth? Beautiful. Okay. So at this point, what you're essentially saying is all the other imagery in there possibly adds to it in a way, but if we get those five and we get the what the imagery symbolism means around it, we should be okay. We're not going to be too wrong. Okay. Let's see how good you are with using the terminology that you had to do yesterday when I had to go to a meeting. Ava, one thing only. Um, the person on the right is like somehow like a representative of the clergy. Okay, cool. Can you go to the next stage? Can you name that term that came up in the clip videos? You are absolutely right. This one here is re representing the clergy. 
Come on, has anyone got the term that they're talking about? I don't want to pick on. Pick on, okay, Charlie, I'll pick on you. Do you mean like the first estate? That is exactly what I mean. Fabulous. Ava, is that what you were thinking? Kind of. Kind of, you weren't, were you? No, you liar. Okay, so our first estate. Magic. So this is the first estate or the clergy. We'll pick that apart a little bit more in a moment. What's another part? Yeah, um, why can't I think of your name even though I know I should be able to? It's Mia, it's Evie, and it's not Imogen, is it? Yeah. Imogen, okay. Um, the nobility in the second estate represented on the other side of the... Beautiful. So this one over here is our nobility. Beautiful. Also known, and we're using our terms now, it's our second estate. Wonderful. Can I ask, there's a word in England, they tend to use the word nobles a lot. But in your reading yesterday, there's a word starting with A that the French tend to use instead of, that kind of means over there. <laughs> yeah, an aristocrat or aristocracy. So let's add to your answers if you don't have it. This is our aristocracy, our aristocrats. Now it's interesting, when that revolution happens, and we're having the heads cut off by the sans culottes you met last week. They refer to the nobles often as aristos. So by drawing these little ideas together, we're building a story. Okay, so we're doing pretty nicely here. We've got first and second estate. That should make life easy for Molly. Yeah. Um, the man carrying the orb-shaped thing is a third part of the third estate. Right, yeah. So this is our third estate. Oh, I don't like that little strip of wood. Okay, the third estate. Wonderful. We need to put... Oh, Sorry. We need to... I thought that was my phone camera 360 degree. I'm not saying... Thanks, Evie. I don't want you to do it. Okay. Can we define... It? See, we went nobility. We went clergy. Let's put this in other languages. Um, another way, Tara. Third estate meaning uh, the lower class. Right? Okay, the lowest state, uh, lower class seems to be. Down the nose. I wonder if there's another way we could put it. <gasps> Want to call? No, you're Charlie. Next to Charlie. Phoebe. Phoebe. I would say the common people. Okay, I much prefer that. The commoners. Okay, trying to split that bit there. The commoners. All right. Who did I pick on? Okay, Laura. Right. I don't like it. You know, is that where you were going to go to? Mm -hmm. I tell you what, let's do this and come back to something else because working class isn't quite right. And Tara, I'd struggle to say lower class. There's a reason for that when you hear it. Charlie, that one. Oh, that one. Yeah. Um, a crown? Yeah. Representing? The king? Beautiful. So, a crown 